welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, September 22nd. As you can tell, I'm in my work attire. So I'm actually just getting all of my stuff organized. So this will be a work day in the life vlog. I have a really long to-do list. I was making it last night and I have 16 things that I really need to get done today. So it's gonna be a very busy and very productive vlog. So let's go. I am doing a collaboration with Undone Watches. I wanted to show you guys their vintage theme chronograph watch, which is called the Urban. This is what the watch looks like. I absolutely love the vintage looking face, as well as this really beautiful, kind of like a grayish, mauveish sort of band that goes along with it. And the great thing about Undone Watches is that there's actually a quick release system for their straps. So they send you two different strap colors. I'd love to show you exactly how we can switch these out super fast because it's one of the features of this watch that I think is so cool. Basically what you do is you just pinch at the bottom of the base here. And you can see that just, it came right off. And you can see for both of these straps here, it has this little silver thing on the edge. And this is how you insert the new strap into the watch. So all we did here was take the little silver pins and just push them into their little slot. So that comes off really easy. And voila. So within seconds, you can have the same beautiful watch, the same beautiful face with a different band and it gives it a totally different style. And then you can just put the other band back on depending on what outfit you're wearing and how you want to accessorize. And for my viewers, Undone is actually offering an exclusive discount of 20% off. You can use my discount code at checkout. It's Kristen20. You can find it in the description box below. And they will also be giving away two watches for free to figure out how you can enter to win one of those two watches. Make sure to check out all of the details in the description box below. Alrighty, so I just got to the mall area for my lunch break because I want to get some writing in and just be in Barnes & Noble. It just sounds really, really great. It's real close to the office. So that is what I'm doing. So I am home now. It is about 4.30 in the afternoon. Just making my way into my office because even though all I wanna do is just sit down on the couch and turn on the TV and relax, I got maybe 10, probably 10 of the items on my to-do list done. And I had a total of 16 things to do. So if I can at least get, you know, like four or five more done, that would be wonderful because I really want to have a nice relaxing weekend. I don't want to be stressed out trying to finish stuff on my to-do list. So that is what I'm going to do right now. Fortunately, I already filmed my YouTube video, which you guys will have seen. It was the Preptober video that went up on Monday, September 25th, but I do need to edit that. That's something I can do over the weekend because I actually don't really mind editing, but I have a couple final, final, final formatting touches that I need to put on Shadow Crown, especially for Ingram Spark because it's just being a pain like it always is. It's kind of strange because the mail isn't here yet, but I guess they do kind of run a little late on Fridays. But I did order a picture frame for my map of Shadow Crown. So I'm super excited for that frame to come in. And then I think I know exactly where I want to hang it in my office. So if that does get here today, then I will make sure I show you guys what it looks like when it's all framed and when it's put up in my office. Okay, so I'm going to set an alarm on my phone for one hour and I'm gonna sit here and just power through and try to get as much done as possible in one hour and then I will give myself a break and probably make dinner because I'm really, really hungry. <laughs> Poor 
Please watch this snap. <laughs> I've literally been laughing for the past five minutes straight. Oh, Snapchat, oh, Snapchat. Make sure you are following me on social media because a lot of the time I tend to post, I think more inspirational kind of like updates, but then sometimes I get in really weird moods like the one I'm in right now and I'll post just some silly stuff. It usually happens on Thursdays and Fridays because I'm just so delirious and so tired from the work week, so. Yeah, I'll leave all of my social media stuff either here or here. I'm not sure what side it goes on, but I will do that. So make sure you go follow me. Are you sleeping with your toy that you destroyed? Is that what you did? What happened to him? All of his stuffing's ripped out. <laughs> hey, destroyer of worlds. Destroyer, <laughs> destroyer. All right, so it looks like the frame that I bought to put my shadow crown map in just arrived. Please ignore the dog's toy fuzz that is everywhere. <laughs> but I think I'm going to go ahead and open this and then put my map in the frame. It's got sort of this rustic wood look to it, but it's kind of like a white rustic wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the map, which is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the frame. So there it is. I put it right above the doorway. Oh, I love it so much. It looks so, so good. Okay, so some books that I ordered from Amazon just came in the mail and I wanna share them with you guys. So the first one is Find Your Happy by Shannon Kaiser. It's an inspirational guide to loving life to its fullest. And I read Adventures for Your Soul by Shannon Kaiser and loved it, which is why I'm picking up Find Your Happy. I also got War Cross by Marie Lu because Marie Lu is one of my favorite authors. I've read her entire Legend series, the Young Elite series, and now I'm so excited to read War Cross. I also bought Wonder Woman by Lee Bardugo. So excited for this because I love superhero movies and the fact that this is a superhero book and it's about a female is so awesome. And then lastly, I got Sarah J Moss's Tower of Dawn. So I'm still pretty far behind in the Throne of Glass series, but I wanted to go ahead and get this so that it would be on my bookshelf whenever I decide to read it. So on my way home from work, I did stop by my P.O. box and I do have a couple of letters and packages that I want to go ahead and open up here on this vlog. So the first one I got is from Tori M. in Vermont. Oh, how adorable. This one says the best things in life aren't things. And then this, these are just like really cute little tabs as well. I use these a lot. Tori, thank you so much for writing to me. This is such a sweet letter. I will definitely be writing you back and I am so excited to use these. You guys have no idea how much I just nerd out over little stationery and like post-it notes and pens. Like it's just, I don't know, it's like my nirvana. I just, I love this stuff. So thank you so much. The next letter I got is in this super cute envelope and it looks like it might be from the UK, but I don't see a return address on here, so. Oh, and looking at the, it's from Rianne or Ryan. I'm pretty sure your name's Rianne. Again, I'm so sorry, I'm so bad at names, guys. I always butcher everyone's names, so. Thank you so, so much for writing to me. I know you and I exchange a lot of messages and notes via Twitter, so it's just really neat to see to see a letter from me, like a handwritten letter, which is, that's just so cool. I'll definitely be answering the questions that you asked in here once I write you back, but thank you so much for writing to me. Next is a package from Jasmine in California. Yay, another book. This is called Sparks Fly. This is by Jasmine Barton Moore. I'm gonna read the back of it really fast. Very intriguing. Thank you so much for sending this to me. Oh, she also sent her business card as well as a bookmark. Just so fun. I love when bookmarks come with the books. So perfect. Okay, I'm gonna read her letter. Oops. Oh, and she said she signed it too. You guys, you have no idea how happy that makes me when 
just when you guys write me letters when you you know send me your books and tell me that you know i've i've inspired you to write or to follow your dream or to publish your book that is just the coolest feeling ever and then when you send me signed copies of your books that is just it's just so cool it makes me so happy so jasmine thank you so much for sending this i will be writing you back and i'm really excited to read this so thank you so much next package is from i hope i'm saying your name right rihanna rihanna from North Carolina. All right, looks like there are a couple of bookmarks in here. It's the Battle for Heritage series, book one, The Land of Cotton, 1861, Our Home in Dixieland, a Civil War story written by Rihanna, Rihanna, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, Lynn Miller. Ah, she tells me how to say her name in the letter. I should have read this first. It's Rihanna. <laughs> It's historical fiction based on North Carolina, Virginia during the Civil War, which will be really, really fun to read. Thank you so much, Rihanna. I will definitely be writing you back and I am real excited to dive into this. Thank you. I promise I am making some headway in getting these letters written back and sent you know, back to you guys. For those of you who have written to me, just with Hurricane Harvey and everything that's been going on, things have kind of taken a back seat or I, you know, I wasn't home for over a week there. But I promise I am working on that. And once Shadow Crown comes out on October 3rd, I am going to have just some more free time in October since I already do have the second book in the Shadow Crown series, Renegade Crew. Since I have that one completely outlined and all figured out, I'm ready to go to write the remaining 50,000 words for NaNoWriMo in November. So the month of October will be a great time for me to play catch up on writing back to everyone and also writing back to emails. So if you've written to me, a response is coming your way very, very soon. And just so you guys know, my PO box is always listed in the description box below. It's PO box 1879, Montgomery, Texas 77356. I absolutely love receiving letters and I love showcasing them on my vlogs. It's super, super fun. And I just, it's exciting getting mail. I'm just, I'm such a nerd. I. I love to get snail mail. I think it's so much more personal than email. It's just fun to open up a package or a letter and to read someone's handwritten words. I wanted to share one more book that I got. I showed you guys kind of my Amazon book haul, but then I did buy a book at Barnes and Noble because I had a gift card. And I've been looking for a book similar to The Girl on the Train and Gone Girl because I love those type of thriller mystery books. And I found In a Dark, Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. It's yet another thriller mystery book that is going to be a major motion picture really soon. It's an NPR 2015 best book of the year. And it was an instant New York Times, USA Today, and Los Angeles Times bestseller. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. As you saw earlier in the vlog, I'm still reading A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Moss. I'm not that far into it as of right now, but I am hoping to use this weekend to really get caught up on my reading. My reading has definitely fallen by the wayside, unfortunately. I am really excited to start reading this one though. All right, so it is getting to be that time where I'm gonna sit down and read, like I said I was going to do, A Court of Mist and Fury. You can see I'm really, I'm <laughs> really not very far, but I am gonna work on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and read for a little while and then go ahead and get to bed. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to support my channel. And don't forget there is a freebie on my other website at thatsmarthustle.com called Five Action Steps You Can Take Right Now to Start Showing Up for Your Dreams. If you just go to my website, there'll be a little box that pops up. You enter your email address and then you will be emailed the link to download that little mini workbook. It is so hard to believe that in just five days, Shadow Crown will be releasing. It is available for pre-order on Amazon US and UK so you can find those links in the description box below and if you want you can also go ahead and order a signed copy of Shadow Crown off of my website at kristenmartinbooks.com that option did open this past Monday and one more reminder before I log off is that next week's video will not be going up on Monday it will actually be going up on Tuesday because Tuesday is Shadow Crown's release so the video will not be up on Monday it'll be up on Tuesday October 3rd so make sure you stay tuned for that and other than that, I will see you guys next week, next Tuesday on Shadow Crown's release. Ah, you gonna say goodnight? Okay, Harley and I are gonna go. We're gonna go read now. We're gonna go read now. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.